Hi there, this is John Felix, the Battle Right Profiler. Another week of BPL is coming up and we're heading into playoffs, so let's keep predicting some games, shall we? First off, let's see how we did last week. Okay, I was at 71 points before last week's games. I am now at 88, which means that I actually snagged that nice and juicy little BPL chests which means that now I have two sitting in my inventory. Okay, as usual, we'll start in North America. Our first game to look at here is Angry Face versus Atrocity Exhibition. I keep saying that I think Atrocity Exhibition is a really good team, and I'm going to keep saying it here. I don't think they've shown their true potential yet, but I think they're stronger than Angry Face and that they'll pick up this win. Next up we have Space Station Gaming versus Psy, and this week I want to stay and talk about a game that Space Station Gaming is involved in, but the team I want to talk about is Psy, because I didn't know much about this team going into this season, but they've really come out swinging, they've picked up quite a few wins and they've looked really really good. So good in fact that I'd say that they are better than every other North American team playing this week, except for one. And that team is Space Station Gaming, and that team is a lot better than Psy, in my opinion. So this is a really unfortunate seeding for Psy. I don't think they have much chance of winning this game, but I do want to say that I think they're a really strong team. Next up, we have Excel Wizards versus TEG. We didn't get to see these teams play last week due to forfeits. Last week I predicted Excel Wizards to beat TEG. I'm gonna stick to that here, adding to just the things I said last week about TEG versus Excel Wizards. Excel Wizards does have a season one playoff in their backpack already, and that's a chunk of experience that I think will help them even further. So I am predicting Excel Wizards to beat TEG. Okay, going over to Europe, we have you choose versus gatekeepers. And this might be quite rambly. I might ramble on here. And the reason for that is that I haven't really decided which team I'm going to bet on before I sat down to record this. I've been trying to decide, but I, I have a very hard time figuring out who I believe in. So on the one hand, we have you choose who, like I said in last week's video, when I talk about them, they have had their ups, they've had their downs. When they're not on their ups, I think um, they're really struggling. But when they are playing well, I think this team looks really, really good. I think if they can just raise their lowest level, they, they don't have to do a lot of crazy things that they already haven't shown in certain games. But if they can bring up their lower level a bit higher and become more consistent i think this is this is a really good eu team moving on to gatekeepers though this team is also a very hard team to judge right now they have hot biscuit jolts as a melee not rutha and they have gas of b as a support and this team has gone through a bit of internal struggles that makes me wonder at what level the motivation and the morale is here. If morale and motivation is high, I still think there's quality in here in these players to come out with a win. But if they don't have that fire, that drive to actually do well, um, I question whether they have what it takes. Now, long story short, I'm going to make a longer video where I talk about what's been going on with the gatekeepers, but long story short is that Jolts wanted to quit the team, but since Ruth did, he felt he kind of had to stick around and not leave Hot Biscuit hanging. So that's the thing that makes me question morale and motivation. The fact that Jolts kind of already wanted out of the team. Now he's still playing. Yeah, he sh I'm sure he wants to do well and perform for his team and his teammates. But if it's not really coming from a motivation that is real for him, who knows if he can bring his best to a game. And if you choose come in on a good day and this problem is a thing, I think you choose could very well win. If you choose doesn't come in on a good day, or if this morale motivation thing 
isn't really as big of a problem as I think it could be. I think gatekeepers are gonna win. So it's uh, it's hard to say which scenario will play out, but yeah. I think in the end, I am going to go ahead and side with Gatekeepers just because they've shown so much good stuff before and there's so much quality in both Hot Biscuit and Jolts. So I'm going to go ahead and say that this is their last stand. They're going to go on to the next stage in playoffs. I don't see them going much farther than that. But yeah, I'm going to believe in one last victory for the Gatekeepers here. Team Hyped versus E United is also a tough match to predict. Um, e United, they looked really good last time we saw them, but it sucks that we didn't get to see them last week because I was hoping to see them keep that level up. Um, but due to forfeits, they played zero games last week. So the sample size for United is quite small. We've seen one really, really good game from them where they look like hands down one of the better teams in EU. But Team Hyped has also looked really, really good. Actually, they've looked like one of the better teams in EU. They picked taken one game off of impact and took impact all the way to a tiebreaker before giving up first seed in their group now if we had seen e united play at the level we saw them last time against gatekeepers i would maybe lean towards e united but considering that we haven't seen that much from e united due to unfortunate circumstances that really we can't play me united for but still due to that i'm gonna have to go and uh, pick team hyped here just because of you know the fact that we've seen more from them this season so team hyped is my prediction here okay last one unlucky versus weed and boys eu eu is a pain in my butt this week when it comes to predicting um both of these teams have been in a sticky situation. Um, I think they're both at the bottom of their groups. But there are differences between these two teams though. I feel unlucky is the luckiest team in EU. Because they got in a group that did not have gatekeepers, dolos, or E United in them. Sure, they had Impact and Team Hyped in their group. And also you choose. Comparing that with Weed and Boys, they got a much tougher group. So the fact that they're at the bottom of their group is a bit more understandable. Also, Unlucky is in the same group as You Choose, who had to reschedule games and therefore started out with minus two points. An even better circumstance for uh, Unlucky going into this group stage. Still, they're at the bottom of their group. And we also got to see Weed and Boys last season and in that group they were in a group with impact gatekeepers and pulse drunk their pulse drunk was like the worst team in that group and i think weedham boys quite clearly demonstrated that they're not at that level they are a at least decent eu team i'd say a good eu team they've had rough groups two seasons in a row now where it's hard for them to get to an to a better place than they ended up in but i think that yeah weed and boys have proven to be a good team and um yeah i don't think i can really say the same for unlucky yet so i'm going to side with weed and boys here all right those are my predictions for this week of the bpl i rambled on a bit here mostly because i'm very uncertain of my predictions especially in eu so it's it's very exciting when um when it's like this it's hard to make a video like this one where i'm supposed to say what i think when i don't really know but it makes watching the games even more enjoyable um if you've missed it i just released a video uh, where i talked to Ciamaro, the battle right sage about the battle right meta so if you haven't seen that one yet go check it out i also have more interviews lined up coming to the channel shortly so if you don't want to miss them you could go ahead and subscribe to the channel I think that's a good idea. All right. Good luck with your predictions, and I'll see you next time.